There's a new supercar maker on the block, and they made a giant toy supercar. You'll see what I mean. Cadillac may very well build that El Mirage. BMW could offer a front-wheel drive Z2, and Toyota lets dealers cut out Scion. You know, if they want. Plus, Friends Day Wednesday and FLD's Q of the D. What's up? Me, Derek D. This, Fastlane Daily. Toyota made a big move when they slotted the GT86 under the Scion brand when it brought the sports car to the U.S. But the latest reports suggest the Japanese automaker, well, they're not too happy about its sub-brand. So Toyota has told its 1,225 dealerships that they are allowed to stop selling Scion vehicles at any time. Yeah, pretty much they're like, yeah, sales suck anyway, so if you don't want to, that's cool. Currently, 1,000 of these dealers do sell Scions, and considering how poorly Scions have sold recently, it's likely that many of them will uh, consider the offer. But all that being said, Toyota still plans to make a sub FRS sports car and now a new compact crossover. So who knows what the hell is really going on? Seems like mixed signals all over the place. Make up your mind, Toyota. Do you want to keep Scion or don't you? I saw a guy in a tank top driving a blue Scion. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> There was outrage when many people found out BMW was planning a front-wheel drive crossover based on the active tour concept. All right, maybe not outrage. That'd be a little intense. Could you imagine people like picketing outside of dealerships with signs that look like this? You know, say no to front-wheel drive. Anyway, now it appears BMW is also planning a new similarly designed Roadster. Using its mini sub-brand platform, BMW may offer a Z2 branded sports car in 2016. Now, not that Mini doesn't make fun cars, but front-wheel drive BM dubs just seem a little wrong. But hey, maybe it'll be cool. Should the rumors be true, it'll be interesting to see how the Z2 stacks up you know, against the likes of uh, the next generation Mazda MX-5 and other rear-wheel drive sports cars. In related news, Honda wants to really stir the pot, so they're coming out with a three-wheel drive sedan. Yeah, the back wheels and the front tire. Right tire. Zach. I'm joking, Zach. Uh, you're not Zach, you're Max. <laughs> okay, so we know Cadillac's new El Mirage concept is sexy, right guys? There's no doubt about that. No, no doubt. doubt. Although we can't help always being skeptical of badass concepts because they either never get built or end up so distilled by the time they're produced that they lose the cool factor, right? Right. Yeah. right. So, yeah, seems to happen all too often. But Cadillac sources are saying the El Mirage might be headed to production with very limited changes, although that word might is still there. It's not saying definitely. To recap, the Grand Coupe, besides being gorgeous, uses a twin turbo 4.5 liter V8 to make 500 horses. And how many pound feet of torque, Erica? 500. 500, exactly. If your hopes and dreams are for this to come true, well, the El Mirage will be produced sometime around 2015. Might be produced. Hopefully this car won't just be a mirage. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh. See what I did there? Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, uh. Yeah. You probably never heard of Laraki Motors, but they don't care. Why? Because the little known manufacturer just showed the world the epitome concept. And that's what it looks like a giant toy right there. But this toy is real, very real. 1,750 horsepower supercar, real. It's based on the C6 Corvette. It weighs just 2,800 pounds and uses a twin turbo 7 liter GM V8 for grunt. As you can imagine, the body uses super light materials like carbon fiber to keep the weight down. If you want an epitome supercar, eh, you just gotta shell out two million in cash and a life insurance policy. The policy is optional, of course. What do you think, AK, two million? No. No. I'm not really sure what I think about it, and it's definitely a little cocky having the name epitome and all. Like, we get it, it's the epitome of all our cars. <laughs> it's, definitely, it's definitely got that futuristic look, which is cool. But, like I said, it looks like a giant toy. What do you guys think? Oh, you loyal commenters. I epitome the fool who buys one. <laughs> Good one, AK. Oh, and if you guys haven't seen this awesome speed dating video, it's pretty comical. If for no other reason than to watch fully grown men with terror in their eyes as this chick tears around the track in a Renault Clio hatch. The guy's face at the end is pretty priceless. He's like... Eyes all bugged out and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. The link is in the description. You want to get down on that. Right? All right. 
All right, time to talk about some friends. For what, Max? Wednesday, Wednesday. You got it. FLD fan Benson Lee here. Check him out, smiling ear to ear, posing with this chick. Nice job, Benson. He posted this video on our Facebook, and it's pretty crazy. Uh, crazy. Venadin Vatavel, sorry if I said your name wrong, posted as well, but hey, Benson beat you to it, all right? Anyway, this lady just didn't see this car directly in front of her and hits it head on. Her car also didn't have any airbags, so she just kind of flopped into the passenger seat. It's crazy to me. It seems like she was just staring at this car and didn't even flinch as if she wanted to hit it. Right, Tom? It was just like right into the car. And her head hit the windshield, which yeah. is kind of scary. Yeah, I mean, it's, she probably got hurt, but I'm sure she's okay. Also, big FLD, what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the story behind it. Yeah, it's a happy ending. Yeah, <laughs> happy ending. Also, big FLD fan from Australia, Trent Marshall. It's his 21st birthday today on the 21st. So, good day, mate. Happy birthday, Dan Under. Okay. Right? Yeah. Happy birthday, <laughs> Dan Under. Anyway, he wanted me to do an accent, and I probably just tore it up. Anyway, speaking of friends, a lot of good responses to FLD's question of the day, especially this response to yesterday's question of how to break in an engine. Hamid Hamed tweeted, you could break an engine by running over it with a tank. Well, that's definitely one way. You know, thinking outside the box, and I like it. And uh, today's Q of the day. Q of the D. Q of the D. Yeah, my bad. FLD Q of the D is, is there such thing as too much horsepower? Like, when is enough enough? Right. You know, you can have fun with not that much horsepower. Use hashtag FLD Q of the D and discuss amongst yourselves and us. Twitter, Facebook, you know the deal. That'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. But first, let me also wish happy birthday to Lindsay Chen, who used to work oh, here yeah. at FLD. Happy birthday, Lindsay. Happy birthday, Lindsay. There birthday, you Lindsay. go. A lot of birthdays this week. A lot of birthdays, including this guy's. That's right. Tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. Thanks for watching. FastLaneDaily.com is our official site. Hit up all our social media styles. They're all right here. Max is running through them. And uh, yeah. <laughs>